Hi guys, uh, Tim here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your crypto trading using Google Apps Scripts absolutely free. So, I'll take um, first of all, let's uh, take a look at the diagram here. And as you can see today, most uh, crypto box running on servers uh, 24 hours, seven days a week, uh, which obviously uh, equals uh, a service cost, right? So uh, many uh, server uh, service providers, you know, provides you know server for fees. Now um, I um, I figured out a way how to run uh, the box actually on Google Apps Scripts for free. So essentially, if you um, you know how to uh, convert your box into Google Apps Scripts and optimize the codes uh, within uh, you know, the, uh, the free uh, service from Google. So you can run your strategy of box on uh, Google server for free. And similarly, on the client side, um, so, so basically you don't want you know, your, your clients to pay any server cost. So you can do the same. You can ask your client to run scripts on Google Apps Scripts uh, server. All right. So, uh, so essentially, uh, so what what it, what it does is actually, uh, let's say, let's say you run a signal service, right? And so uh, you run, you want to send signal to your uh, subscribers. Right. And uh, when uh, your subscribers receive signals uh, from Gmail, from Telegram, from Discord, uh, etc., for other uh, messaging uh, platforms, and this signal will send corresponding orders to their crypto exchanges. Right now, uh, let's say um, let's say you run your box on uh, Google Apps Scripts uh, server and uh, and when there is a signal uh, okay uh, which we send that signal to uh, subscribe for email so on the client side um, another script actually running to monitor incoming gmails and sends uh, corresponding uh, orders to uh, you know, subscribe as crypto exchange. Right. So, uh, so this is actually um, overview. So let's uh, move on to the fun part, which is uh, how to run the, the script. Right. So uh, first of all, you got to log in your Gmail. So most people today have uh, Gmail, right? And uh, and what you go to do next, you go to uh, the menu at the right top corner. You go to sheets, right? So uh, essentially, you want to write uh, a spreadsheet, right? Uh, you just click on the blank here, the plus sign here. And you can rename the sheets. It's not actually sheets, uh, but sheets. Right, so let's wait for it to finish running. Yeah, you, you can uh, rename the spreadsheet to whatever the name you want. Right, right. So uh, for my case, yeah, I already created um, the spreadsheet. So I just open it. So essentially, this is my spreadsheet, uh, which name BTC USD Binance. So I just open it. All right. Now, so you got to wait for the spreadsheet to uh, open completely. Right, you uh, click on extensions, 
click on app script to open the script editor right and essentially you just copy you know the script code uh, from the documents I provided by clicking on the link below the video so you go all the way you go all the way down right and you see appendix appendix which actually has the source code so here we are right so here we are so the scripts are provided here in this document and essentially they just copy the whole source code and paste into the scripts editor and save it, you click here to save it alright now uh, what we're going to do next uh, you got to open uh, testnet Binance account for the purpose of demonstration only in reality actually you can uh, send orders to any uh, crypto exchanges as long as they provide the API for communication right for so this case uh, I already have my testnet Binance accounts logged in so let's go back to the um, the streets right so first of all um, you see here you see um, this is actually the list of functions okay, of the scripts. So uh, the first one, two, three, four, five, six. The first six uh, functions are actually the provider, the, the, the server size uh, function, which are used to send signals to a uh, subscriber. Okay? And uh, on the client side, so you will see this function monitor GMS for signals alright so you look at here the server size the server size will run the first six functions and the client size uh, will run this one monitor GMS for signals alright so what we're going to do first of all I want to send for example I want to send the uh, my signal to a client's Gmail, all right. You click in here, right, and you just click run, right. So if you check your email. So in email box is actually a uh, signals by signal already received, right, and so uh, you check the Telegram. So on my telegram, I also can configure to receive uh, the signal. Right, now, uh, on the client side, on the client side, I will run uh, monitor Gmail scripts, you know, um, automatically. So basically, it monitors uh, incoming uh, signals every, you know, let's say 15 minutes, one hour, etc. It's up to you, right? So, for the purpose of demonstration, let's say I want to run a script to detect the incoming signal. So, you click on the monitor Gmail for signal. Okay, you run. So, this code is actually already detects uh, this signal coming and send an order to my testnet Binance account so you can check uh, the Binance account here you say yes um, an order of BTC USDT has been placed uh, successfully right now um, let's say let's say on the server side I want to send a close signal uh, which is uh, to close the previous open by signal so what I'm going to do uh, is let's say I want to send uh, the buy signal which is a tech profit buy okay so I'll click on run and you check your email you see in my email box I just received 
attack profit buy signal right and on the client side I want to run the script that monitors the incoming Gmail and if it can detect uh, any signals every sense uh, you know the orders corresponding orders to uh, crypto exchange so in this case I want to run this scripts on the uh, sorry client side monitor Gmail for signals like run it Alright, so you check your Binance uh, accounts, you say the order on the get close, and you can click on order history. Okay, you say you can seize all the orders you executed uh, successfully. And you want to check the uh, your telegram, and you say the signal also sent to telegram, your telegrams are commonly. Now, uh, so in reality, in reality, actually, you can uh, run scripts, you know, on uh, specified periods. For example, uh, your box, you know, sends uh, signals to clients every one minute, so 15 minutes, uh, one hour, one day, etc. Actually, you can set, you can use uh, Google Asterisk uh, Trigger to to automate okay so basically you can use uh, this function as trigger and you can just say on my client side I want to run this function uh, every every minute so you can select time driven you can select let's say every minute okay um, but uh, for the purpose of demonstrations I'm not going to detail how to set up the, uh, the timing trigger running the, uh, the monitor functions on the client side. So this is actually, this should be in another video when I uh, demonstrate how to, how to set up the client side for my uh, signal, crypto signal service. All right, so uh, I think this is uh, that is all for this video. So just have fun to, to run the demo scripts. And um, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.